Hello, today for my TED Talk, I wanted to talk about the evolution of the octopus and how we can learn about ourselves by learning about it. One thing most people know about the Octopodi Guild is that they are very intelligent, especially for a sea creature. The octopus, despite being such a strange and different creature, has evolved to have a very similar brain to humans. The octopus's brain is very unique as the rest of the mollusk guild of which it is a part is not nearly as intelligent. In fact, the clam does not even have a brain. However, the octopus has nine whole brains, one in their body and one in each of their arms. Imagine how smart humans would be if we had eight extra brains. Though personally, I think we are big headed enough as it is. The brain of an octopus is smart enough to know how to use its abilities to do difficult tasks like opening jars. So maybe we should get them to help us clean the oceans from all the trash we've dumped in there. The octopus has evolved to have the best stealth in the entire world. In order to achieve this, the only bones that they have are their sharp beaks, which are used for eating prey. This is because of the invertebrate nature of the octopus, which is a trait and evolutionary tactics aired with their evolutionary ancestors, the cephalopods. Octopi have the ability to squeeze their bodies through any container that their beaks can fit through because of this. Octopi can be considered the chameleons of the ocean. They have evolved the best color changing abilities in the world, which, paired with their nature as invertebrates, allow them to literally change the color and texture of their skin and have near perfect mimicry of their surroundings. They can even mimic other sea creatures to have perfect camouflage and hide from predators and hunt prey all at the same time. Well, not all at the same time, but mostly at the same time. They hunt prey by camouflaging themselves and leaping out when the fish swim by, allowing them to almost always have the upper hand on their opponent. One amazing thing about their color change is that they are completely colorblind, yet they use their nine brains to perfectly mimic their surroundings. Unfortunately, the extreme reliance on stealth means they have easily penetrable defenses. However, they are smart enough to avoid most attacks and get away very quickly if caught. With all these factors, it is no wonder why they are such a widespread and fearsome hunter. The octopus evolved from cephalopods, and while they are friendly and intelligent, like some humans, they can also be very annoying and troublesome. Some octopi prefer to be alone, while others are more social. Scientists have found that octopi changing to a darker hue means they are more aggressive, so keep that in mind if you meet one in a dark alleyway. Octopi are known to work together with each other. Notably, in Australia, octopi have been observed living very closely together and forming friendships and rivalries while engaging in a complex social interaction. Octopi in captivity have been known to have bonded with their handlers, such as one octopus named Truman, who consistently sprayed water on only a single one of its handlers to show a sort of bond with it. Another octopus who had an antagonistic relationship with one of its handlers continually sprayed water on that handler until they quit. Then, months later, when the same handler tried to rejoin the aquarium, the octopus recognized it and the handler had to leave again. Unfortunate, but true. Honestly, we could learn a lot about the octopus and from the octopus. Octopus are unique, intelligent creatures, and while they look very different from humans, they also have many similarities to us. I'm John Hubert, and thank you for coming to my TED Talk.